Hi. Now this is a follow up to an earlier question where we had to solve individually these two inequalities. And now we're being asked to find the set of values of x for which both of these inequalities hold. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, earlier when we did the first inequality, that, that was, let's just put it down here, for 3x minus 7 is greater than 3 minus x, we found the solution set was x was greater than 2.5. And, and I can show this on a number line. If we just mark 2.5 here, then that means if it's greater than, I just do an open circle there and I'm looking for values that are greater. OK, so it's anything greater than 2.5. And, and then this quadratic inequality, let's just put that down for x squared minus 9x being less than or equal to 36. We found that the solution set for this, if you check out the earlier video, was between minus 3, we'll mark it down there, and 12. And because we had an equality here, an equal sign, then we could include the values of minus 3 and 12. And so this can be shown on a number line, something like that. So what we're looking for then are values of x which are common to both these sets. And that would mean that we need anything greater than 2.5 but less than or equal to 12. It will be in both of these sections. So the answer then will be that x has to be greater than, take care over these signs here, 2.5 but less than or equal to, because we can equal the 12 here, less than or equal to 12. And that's our solution set.